Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and this is the, I'm going to make a quick quick video on how to change a blade on a Newtek RSD-100. I got a lot of questions, people call me like how do we do it, Those are, you know, a lot of questions so I want to do it. So when you buy this machine, you're going to get a bag full of accessories in there. Please don't throw it away, there are a lot of stuff in there including screwdrivers, greasers, um, oil, some brushes, some stuff. There is a video already on that one. But this is what we're gonna be looking for in that side. Can you show that up? Boom, you see that? This is a tool that you need to open this up, okay? I'm gonna put this away. Okay, now, lay it flat, all right? And we're gonna show them from the top, right? I think so. All right, very nice. And then you just go ahead and you see this? And there's these two holes, put them in there and... Now, get it in there. There is also a, um, in the back, there is a small, tiny, um, one of these, a pin. And I tell you what is the pin for. The pin goes right in here in that hole. So when you hold it in the bottom, it's in there. So when you wanna go ahead and turn it, it will hold the knife and the screw will. So you wanna make sure in the back, look in the back. This is the back. You wanna hold it so when you open it, when you're holding it, it won't ruin this fabric guard. This is only a, like a spring, very tiny blade. Okay, we wanna make sure don't ruin it. So we don't want this to hit. How is the lighting going on? Lighting is not good. People are gonna complain. Okay. All right, very nice, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this one, let's say here. I'm gonna just put it this way, so you can see, okay? Go and turn it. See right now, if close, righty tidy, lefty, lefty loosey. You open this up, very simple, okay? Now, you put that down right here. Now, you gotta be very careful. You could open this up also. Get one of these, it comes in the machine. Open it up. Move this. Why the lighting is so bad today? I wanna just get rid of the lighting. You know what? Get rid of it. Better, no? Yes. So, open this up. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Okay. I'm gonna make this a fast video. People don't have, okay, take it out. Pull this up, this is an oiler. You oil this. Pull this up and pull it back here. See, out of the way. Now, this is the important part. When you take this out, make sure which way you took it out. Because people call me how, which way I put it back. This is the flat out. This is the flat. The one that has edge inside. Flat part out, edge part inside. Okay, so you take it down, let's say. You gotta make sure you're clean here. I mean, if you wanna make sure you clean it up. Let's say, yeah, get a napkin or something and clean it up. If you need to put oil, put some oil. Make sure everything is okay. Make sure that see, there's a lint here. See, leg. Take the lint out, okay? Also, there is a blade. This is a lower blade also, a stationary. This is moving blade, this is a stationary blade. That if you need to change it, you change it from the bottom. All of these parts are available on our website, www.goldstartool.com. Goldstartool.com, okay? So, here, now, you see there is this notches? One, two, three, four notch. Let's say, now we have a new blade, you wanna put it back. Get this, there is two pins right here, tiny pins, one to the right, one to the left. Just take this, make sure that you don't cut your hand. These are very, very sharp. Put it in there, you turn it and bump, it falls in, you see? Right? Take back the item, flat out. And go ahead and turn it. Now, you wanna make sure that this blade, 
sometimes when you put the new blade on, still you have to sharpen it. Okay? And the way you sharpen it, you know that. You press this out and turn the machine on and sharpen. Now, you're gonna make sure that the, when, if the fabric goes in there, you're gonna make sure that these two blades are touching each other. The stationary blade and the rotor, rotary blade. They're touching each other, meaning that they, they're right by each other. So when the fabric goes inside, they grab it and they cut it. Otherwise, you're not gonna do a good job. Make sure you sharpen it. Make sure this is tight. Okay. Very tight. Okay. Make sure you have your finger guard here, which I don't have right now. And make sure you oil it, service it, clean it up. Get one of those air cans, clean everything up. This is gonna last you forever and ever and ever. Go to our website, goldstartool.com. We have many videos regarding how to maintain and clean your sewing machine, cutting machine and supplies. And if you need any part, go on to our website. Thank you for watching.